This is gonna be stupid. I would certainly probably be getting fired for that. Come on, go down, go down. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Get out of this area, get out of this area. Yeah, that's the guy. Alright, welcome back everybody. Matthew Street here with some more LSPDFR, this time in another stream. So first off, we need to go ahead and get all of our stuff set up. See, we got a car and somehow it already comes out just dirty as can be. Go. For a second, I wasn't taking a keyboard input there. That was weird. Get on loaded up here. Okay, cool. What do we want to go with? We're in a highway patrol, so might as well do that. All right, that'll work. Let's hop on in the car. I'm using uh, this as a model I can use in my 5M community if my keyboard will work there. <laughs> so far, it's not. It's weird. No biggie. Let's go ahead and clean her on up. That way we don't get started just being filthy. And go ahead and turn ourselves on for calls, and we're gonna see what we can get into. Make sure my... Cool. Just making sure all my other stuff is working. My side panel. You can check out the lights, see what they look like, because I've actually not played with this car in the game yet. Simply because we may actually be uh, changing out of this car here in just a second. Depends how it drives. I say that because uh, I don't know if any of y'all remember my blooper car. This is, I think, maybe the same model. And somebody did send me a fix for that. I just haven't done it yet. So let's go find that out before we just say we're all about it and ready. Let's see if we can take this corner up here quick. And if we just start barrel rolling, well, we know we need to switch out cars. Oh, okay. Yep, nope, we're good. We're okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but we're all right. So, I think we're going to start with the same goal we had in that let Really? No, 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 no. I know y'all do it every time, but I'm not going to play that game. Not today. You about took us out. Come on. Yep, I got lights on, man. I'm coming for you. Go ahead and just slow on down. You know what? You might as well just pull on up a little bit to the right, because you are getting pulled over, sir. Yeah, I've signaled you to pull over. Go on and do it. Come on. Should we try Mimic for the heck of it? <laughs> eh, he's stopping actually in a decent spot. So that's cool. We're going to go ahead and turn on the uh, traffic control. Just ask it to slow down. Again, I've noticed uh, lately that seems to work really well on having cars try to get around us. There's a car coming, but we got it slowed down. It should be a second. So let's go up here and see what's going on with this individual. Hi. Hello, sir. Trooper Street with the uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol. Pulling you over because you about took us out, ma'am. We were sitting at that stop sign. You pulled into our lane to get around, uh, especially with the trailer. You're supposed to take those wide. So let me go ahead and get your driver's license, please, sir. Show me some ID. All right, Mr. Harry Fowl. And you're you okay can. with that. It does expire here at the end of next month. Just a heads up for you. Good day. Friendly reminder, I also need your registration and your insurance filing. I appreciate it. Okay, I do see it's registered under a different in, uh, individual. Okay, no big deal. I'll be back with you here shortly, sir. So let's go ahead and step back here behind our vehicle. It's kind of off to the side, at least. Let's get out that tablet and see what we got going on. Let's see if my mouse actually selects this time. No, no biggie. It's a Saddler. Insurance is expired. That's a different owner name than what I saw before. Let me, uh check out the ped records here this is him so i'm gonna go ahead and run that plate just with my smart radio because something wasn't vibing there probably can't do it through the trailer can we let's try that one more time oh don't mind me sir i'm just making sure you got nothing illegal back there <laughs> all right i think that's the same one carrot miller david boy nine three zero a traffic violation a traffic violation Proceed with caution. Okay. So it is expired insurance. Um, we'll check that here in a second. I'm going to ask him for it again just to see because uh, it's, it's odd. It's not matching up. So he's got a seatbelt violation. He doesn't have a gun permit, but not worried about that. He's uh, Everything else is valid. So 
Yeah, just step back up to the individual. I know we need to check that one more time. Okay, sir. Getting a couple of things coming back a little different, so I just need to verify that insurance for you one more time, Hi. please, sir. All right, thank you. Karen Miller, that is it. Okay. It has been a while. It's been expired for all of November, December, January, and now half of February. A little bit more than that, actually. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just open that back door because I feel like it. <laughs> and we're going to get our tablet out. And here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to arrest him for it, but I am going to create a citation. Um, I was probably just going to let him go with it turning into us, but since he doesn't have insurance and he's driving it, I don't care if that's his fault or not. We're not going to uh, just let him off with that. So he's going to get crossing a center divider. We're also going to get some documents related. He's driving without insurance. So that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, submit those citations for him. I'm going to get our door shut as well. We're going to get him out of the vehicle. And uh, he's not going to jail or anything. We're just going to uh, get it towed out of here. Okay, Mr. Fowl, I need you to do me a favor. Wow, you got $1,950 worth of tickets coming your way. That sucks, man. I uh, need to uh, go ahead and get out of the vehicle for me, please, sir. All right. And if you would also, uh, just follow me. I'll explain what this is all about here in a second. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, right here will do, sir. Okay, here's our problem. Uh, you've got no insurance on this vehicle. I understand it's not yours, so maybe it's not your responsibility, but as long as you're driving it, it is your responsibility, so you're going to be the one receiving that ticket. Were it expired by just a couple days, I could work with you, but it's been expired for three and a half months now. That's a problem. So uh, just hang tight here for me, and uh, I'm going to get you out of here with your citations, and I'll even call you an Uber or a taxi, whatever you want. But in the meantime, I do need to search that vehicle, make sure there's nothing illegal in it, and also ensure that there is... Uh, Everything is cool and it can be towed out of here. So, I am for now just going to place you in cuffs. This is not under arrest at all right now. Just want to make sure that uh, you're safe and I'm safe. So, let me go ahead and search this. I'll be right back with you. We'll get those cuffs off of you. Okay, so we're now at the vehicle. Let's go ahead and search it real quick. Since we are getting impounded, we need to verify there's nothing illegal. And he's good. Auto Percocet, but uh, I don't have a way of verifying whether that's his or not. So we're just going to play that it's prescribed to him. Go ahead and get this towed out of here. We need a large flatbed. I'll see what it does with that trailer. That could be interesting. Okay. All right, Mr. Fallon, everything came back clean. I don't have a reason to search you, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, since I'm here, do you have anything illegal on you? Perhaps you do. Well, maybe you just gave me a reason, sir. I do need to check you now. Even if you were just joking, some things you don't joke about. So let me go ahead and pat you down, make sure there's nothing illegal. Yeah, trailer stayed. Figured that might happen. Okay. Yeah, you got nothing, but uh, I suggest you don't make jokes like that, sir. We, we, aren't, we don't play that game. I'm going to go and give you two citations. And also, I'm going to get you out of these cuffs. I just kind of stuffed that in your shirt there. I'm going to get you out of these cuffs, and uh, I want you to sign the bottom line of that. It's not, uh, I want you to stay here after I take the cuffs off of you. I've never actually knew used that feature and stopped the pen. That's cool. Didn't know it was there. All right, so I need you to sign the bottom line. It's not an admission of guilt or anything. It's just saying that you acknowledge you received these tickets, and you will show up to court on time, and I do recommend you do so, or a bench warrant will be issued for your arrest. So uh, I want to get you out of here. Do you want a taxi, Uber? What do you want? Uber? All right, we'll do that. Wow. And they are here quick. All right. Well, you need to talk to your buddy because uh, you get a ticket on his behalf. So uh, you need to take care of that. Get him to take care of it. And uh, always check insurance before you borrow somebody's car. So you have a good night, sir. All right. Well, that was kind of interesting. And all these vehicles could have kept going, but they apparently chose not to. No worries. We're going to go ahead and clear that traffic control. I guess it's just this one van is freaking out. Turn my lights off before everybody else goes crazy. We'll get ourselves on for calls. We're going to flip them back on for just a second. <laughs> and I think somebody just ran into something. Probably that trailer. No biggie. 
So we're going to go ahead and head on down towards Harmony. Again, that was the whole goal in the last episode, and it took us, I don't know, six hours before we could. <laughs> Kept getting interrupted by calls. Let's see if that happens again. She's not wearing a helmet, and I don't like that, but we just got off the traffic stall. stop. We're just going to let that happen. We'll wait for something bigger. Plenty of officers in Sandy. Sure is a wonderful night out. You know what? I need to check something real quick, so I'm going to pull over. This is actually just me checking in my game. I switched my uh, time to sync to my computer. And it's still on there. I just want to make sure I save that, ch that uh, change. And I did. That's cool. Because it seems like every episode I do, it's at night. I like to have some during the day. Watch out, Coyote. Of course, it's about to be night here soon, but that's all right. Although I wish it stayed this light, this late where I am. It's 8:30 right now in Central Time, where I am located. Give it a few months, well, more than a few, but once we're in the heart of summer, yeah, it'll be like this at 8:30. That's the base it off daylight savings time. That BF injection in front of us kind of whipped it out a little bit, but he's straight so far. I'm not worried about him. Might be getting some new uniforms here soon. Kind of looking at a couple of them. I did already download one pack that might play with them. We shall see. Need to pay attention to the road. Why are you slowing down like that all of a sudden? Hmm. Citizens reporting a possible 480. Units respond code 3. Possible car accident. Alright, we're going to go ahead and jump on that. Watch out, sir. It is right here. Alright, we are on scene. I'm going to go ahead and make sure we get traffic stopped. Because the first thing we know, we're going to get out here and we're going to have a problem. Okay. So let's see what we got. Do we have someone in the vehicle? We sure do, and they're slumped over. Okay, we need to get an ambulance out here, so we're going to go ahead and call that real quick. Ambulance. Alright, they're right down the road. Sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? don't want to uh, pull him out of the car in case he has some sort of spinal injury. I'll let the professionals handle that. We do have our traffic stop, so there should be plenty of room for this ambulance to come right on in. It's right here, gentlemen. Come on. Let's get to it. Get to it. Get to it. Okay. Well, if he had a spinal, it just got worse. <laughs> Hopefully they can save him. Work with me, damn it. Yeah, I know, man. While we're uh, having them do that, Let's go ahead and uh, do a plate check. Won't hurt. 46 Eek 572. That's a plate that pops up quite often. Jim Dave. Edward, Expired five, registration. Seven, two, a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Whoa. Did we get him? We did. All right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hello, sir. You gonna take him off in the ambulance? Yeah, you go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and search this vehicle real quick. Just make sure there's nothing illegal in it. Don't know if he was, uh, on anything or not. They'll do all that testing at the station. Excuse me, at the hospital. Nothing that was in there. And we're just gonna punch our way into the vehicle. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and get this towed out of here. So nothing was in it. Uh, well, let's search it just one more time to make sure. <laughs> Okay, cool. As we know, nothing in it. So what we want to do is tow that vehicle. So I don't know if there's any influence or what. How he even did this? I can only guess he just barrel rolled out here. But he did survive. Apparently he fell from a height. Don't know what that's all about. Get on out of here, sir. Can you see everything, man? I'll light it up for you. All right, you got it. Cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn ourselves back on for calls. Clear that traffic. And 
and we're gonna get on out of here. That's an interesting route to take, but I guess they got some sort of junkyard down there. Okay, so yeah, car accident. Don't know how he did it. It was a single car accident. Every window was smashed out on that. I can only guess that he barrel rolled or something, but we got him out of there. I didn't get any hits of alcohol or narcotics or anything. That was uh, about the worst stop I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and catch up to him. We're gonna ask him about that. Go ahead and turn ourselves off for calls. Oh, watch out, Cody. Eh, we're having to get on it to catch up to him. Don't want to do 80 to get to him, but we do need to catch up. Okay, he's making some real interesting turns here. Cutting all into the lanes. We're going to order him here in a second to pull over. I just want to make sure we get to a point where there's no guardrail. No reason for him just to smash his vehicle straight into something. We'll go ahead and do that right here. Pull over now, you got a spot. And you're going to do it right next to the guardrail anyway, aren't you? Okay. Well, if you keep going a little bit, maybe... Are you going to stop? Yep, we're... we're, we're it's on. Alright, we need to go ahead and get us a couple backups. We've got a man on the run. Oh, man. Watch out, everybody. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Okay, well... Got something going on here. Whoa, I thought he... Oh, and he did go off-road. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. And he slammed into us. Oh, hell no. No. We aren't playing that game. We're going to go and get a pit request ready. Sounds like we got an officer with us right on our tail, so that's good. We'll be able to perform a pit. He is really stepping up here. I just want to talk to him about a stop sign. Oh, my goodness. Major 1050. Major 1050. See if we can get him in here. I need my officer. Come on. Step in, man. Come on. Come on. Get me some backup. Come on. Okay. We were able to pin him in, and he did finally give up. Yeah. Get down. Just get down. Got him. Going for the arrest. Going for the arrest. I got your cover. Okay, he's got him. Man, he did a number on our car too, didn't he? We're gonna go ahead and scrape all the way off of this car. Oh man. We're gonna go ahead and light up our scene a little bit here. I'm not gonna worry about stopping traffic just yet. Because we're actually just gonna pull this off to the side. Yeah, ma'am, I know your car got destroyed. We'll get you. Oh, God, we got somebody hurt here. We need to get us an ambulance out here right now. Somebody is hurt from that accident. Backup needed in Great Chaparral. Since we've got that, we are going to go ahead and stop traffic. Sir, this could be a really much worse night for you if this doesn't go well. The hell were you thinking? You get to stand here into the stare into the sun for a second. All right. It's a wrap. For this one. It's a wrap. What is he already gone? Is that what we're saying? Let's make sure he's okay. Hope he gets up. If not, we now are looking at a, a homicide. It's kind of cool. He's on the other side, but he's still pumping down. <laughs> Got a low, and it failed. We did all we could. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, my goodness. Well, let's just go ahead and search him real quick. See if there's any personal belongings we can get back to the family. Hit by a vehicle. Mr. Joe Salton lost his life here over an idiot. Well, he did have a grenade. <laughs> just scraped that car. Okay, well, we've got the grenade, so at least it's not going to be out there in public hands anymore. But let's go ahead and obtain our plate number and search this vehicle. This belongs to the original suspect. Bottle of hand sanitizer, cowboy hat, pile of dirty clothes, bag of oranges, nothing of interest. So, nothing really here of note. But let's go and get it towed out. Flatbed, backup required in Great Chaparral. And we're going to request a corner unit come down backup for... Required it was Mr. Stalton. Great Chaparral. 
Well, I don't know who you are yet, but things just got a heck of a lot worse for you, man. Pat him down, please, sir. Hey, get a move on. Use condom, postcard, and a ballpoint. Okay. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do a walk and turn on him. I just want to see if he's got anything under the influence, so... Let's uh, start with the walk and turn, sir. Just need you to do it right here. Okay, so we need to take him out of cuffs to do that. But as we know, we can do stay. So we're going to take you out of these cuffs because you do need to be able to use your arms for balance in case you are going to fall. But we're going to run some quick tests here, sir. I got plenty of backup on scene, so I'm not afraid to do this. Go ahead and do it right here. If that corner can learn how to drive, that would be nice. Nope, he is impaired. I got you. He's got plenty of eyes on him, doesn't he? All right, the car's out of here. We do have that other person that was involved in the accident who uh, lost their relative or friend there, so that was terrible. Hi. Let's go ahead and do the horizontal Thank gaze just to do it and see how this turns out. Alrighty, that wasn't healthy. Sir, if you would go ahead and administer a drug swab test on him. i just having a hard time getting up for this call because the uh, guy killed somebody. That's just terrible. Thank you. All over just running a stop sign. And you need to chill over there. You just had a MVA with a death. Alright, and he's positive for cocaine and meth. You know what, let's just go and make sure he hadn't been drinking either. Damn! This did he try to take off on us? Oh, hell no. What are you doing? Good God. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to take care of traffic and this guy was going to run on us. Well, he's getting a under the influence anyway, but things just got a heck of a lot worse, because now, huh, <laughs> this guy pisses me off. Y'all watch him. We're going to get the tablet out and go ahead and get all his charges rung up. Michael Lopez. All right, let's see here. Citation, and yes, I'm throwing everything on him. Speeding. He got up there. I don't know if he got over 100 or not, but we're putting that on him. At fault in an accident. Careless driving. Crossing a center divider because we got him on that. Failure to stop. Okay. So, so far that's what we've got. Reckless is probably worse than careless, so we're going to give him that. Okay. Submit those. Now we get to the arrest report. Traffic. Driving under the influence. Evading arrest. He attempted to leave the scene of an accident. Violent crimes. Murder. Though, I'm going to say that's, uh... Hmm, I don't know if we want to give him a manslaughter charge. I mean, I don't think he set out to kill the guy. So, if I do, do I want to do vehicular or voluntary? Probably be voluntary. You know what, we're just going to go ahead and pin second-degree murder on him. And prosecutors can figure that one out. So we've submitted his charges. Let me check and see if we've got any old court cases in there. I think we did, so I'm probably going to clear those out real quick. Yeah, we got plenty of old ones. So we've had uh, Harry Fowl, that's all, and Mr. Lopez here, who's a jackass. Okay. All right. Let's get him out of here. Backup needed in, uh... Great chaparral. Sir, is it your car won't run? Is that what's going on? Let's see if we can get it started up for him. Alright. We got the car started. All right, man, I am sorry about what happened. Uh, as you saw, you did lose your friend tonight, but I don't know what to tell you, but uh, just go on ahead, sir. You can get out of here tonight. You can go. 
but don't screw up again. Yeah, I guess he's just gonna leave the car there. That's all right. Go ahead and clear all of our backup. And traffic just needs to chill the heck out. Yeah, he destroyed our car. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, play it that we went and got that taken care of. All right, we're clean there. All right, we'll go ahead and turn ourselves back on for calls, get out there and see what else we can find. But that was a uh, pretty crappy way to kick our night off. Just going to pull the guy over for running a stop sign. Next thing you know, he ends up killing somebody in a motor vehicle accident. So that's terrible. This guy in front of me is tailgating awfully close. So, you know what? Let's do it, because that, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've already seen one accident. This is gonna just lead to another. Just don't take off, man. We've already done that. All right, thank you. Looks like he's gonna try. He's gonna pit, really? No, we're gonna mimic that up. A little bit more for me. And the mimic failed, so we won't be doing that anymore. Okay, let's see where this ends up. Oh my God in a tree. I'm actually quite impressed. That's pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and reinitiate the stop since that's what we got to do. Oh, come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We'll just play that didn't happen. But we still want him to pull over. All right. That'll work. It's going to have to work. Okay. Let's go see what this is all about. He was tailgating big time. Big, big time. Hey. Hello, sir. Trooper Street, San Andreas Highway Police Department. Huh. Wrong agency. Y'all get it. <laughs> I need your driver's Show license, please. Well, he's good. Mr. Brown, I also need to go ahead and get your registration. Hey. Followed by your insurance. So far, everything is coming it. back clean. I see that. Okay. Be back with you in a hey, second, sir. Fine. Yeah, we're the San Andreas Highway Patrol. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Something like San Andreas Highway Patrol Police Department of whatever. <laughs> so, oh, whatever. It's starting to feel a lot later than it is here. All right, fugitive. Everything's clean. It is registered to him, so that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, check his record, make sure he's clean. Uh, so, yep, valid. Everything's fine. He's uh, had a broken engine citation for that. I don't know why that would be a ticket, but okay. Smoking violation, also a couple minor, it looks like shoplifting and unlawful assembly. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get him a ticket. We just He needs to learn this. So, let's see if we can't find where it's gonna be. It's gonna be under vehicle operation. We're looking for uh, following too closely. That'll be it. We'll just get him that citation and get him out of here. He was not getting any hints off of anything such as alcohol or narcotics so all right mr brown you uh, got a court case coming don't tailgate it's dangerous i mean look at what it could do to your car theoretically <laughs> here's your ticket sign at the bottom line it's not a mission of guilt just saying you acknowledge you received this and you have a court date and i do recommend you show up to that court date or bench warrant will be released for uh, your arrest please wait till i get back to my car to leave thanks bye i'll just run back here try to get back to civilization that's the plan anyway go ahead and use our sirens to flip around not coming for you mr. Brown you're good and then we'll go ahead and turn ourselves back on for calls there we go and let's get out here and see what we can find man so very first action of the evening caught a guy for a pretty crazy stupid turn almost clipped us and he was driving a big old truck with the trailer you need to swing that Y. I don't know how he didn't hit us. I think we backed up a little bit. Turns out the insurance had been expired for three and a half months, so it wasn't even his vehicle, but he's the one that gets the nearly $2,000. It was $1,950 is what the uh, penal code shows. We'll see if he actually pays that much through the court system, but that was uh, quite crazy. So I had to have him put out of there. Wasn't arrest or anything, but really... 
I know sometimes that's just how AI is going to drive, but that's pretty pathetic. And he would be doing, you know, 20 in front of me. <laughs> so we got to sit here and deal with this. But yeah, that first individual ends up getting the vehicle towed. We called him an Uber out of there and just got some hefty fines. And you saw we just had that second call. That's all it was. It wasn't even a call. We, well, I guess we did have the motor vehicle accident call, didn't we? And then on the way leaving that, and this guy looks like he's swerving a little crazy, but we'll let it go. Just probably him doing the whole turning thing. But then we end up with a motor vehicle accident. He didn't make it, or he did make it. Take that back. He did make it. Just, man, you're going to go right. Of course, okay. Good. I don't want to be behind you all the way down. I want to get to Harmony. But he ended up uh, surviving. Got the car out of there. Then on the way out of there, we saw that BF injection just run right through a stop sign. Went all the way over in the opposite lanes to get into the lane that he needed. What I mean by that, he was just had to take a simple right. And he went all the way out into the other lane to come back into the lane he was basically already in. And as you saw, decided that he was going to flee. So we took care of that. We eventually got him, but not before he unfortunately killed someone with his vehicle. And we just got a simple tailgating. Now we'll see what else we can get. Harmony's quiet. All SWAT unit. We've got a person with a firearm in grape seed. Units respond code three. Biker gang attack. Multiple officers under fire. I need people to hear us. We are flying to this. Watch out, watch out. This is not good. Multiple officers under attack. A biker gang attack. This is a new one. We gotta get to Grapeseed. Wondering what's gonna be our quickest route there if we should just go interstate. But it's saying us to cut through this way. I just don't know what side of Grapeseed it's in. Watch out, everybody. We gotta get there and quick. Watch out. Pull over. Traffic's been playing really nice lately. That's good. Watch out, tractor. Okay. You should be responding to that, sir. It's all units available. I am uh, kind of worried about what we're going to see when we get up here. But multiple offers, officers under attack. That's going to be quite interesting. Watch out. All right, there we go. Got around him. Thought I saw maybe some lights up there. But no, I didn't. Going through intersections, got to be careful, make sure they for sure hear us. Go ahead and downgrade. I see some traffic. Cat was just walking out. Okay. Where are they? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. They want us in cover. Hell no. We're taking fire. Taking fire. Man, there are a lot of these. What do we got? What do we got? I know it said stay in cover until we get SWAT. We do have SWAT on scene, but... Man, I saw one of them coming up here and hitting our officer. I think we're clear. Oh, my God. We need EMS out here, though. Attention all units. Medical aid requested. In grape seed. Officers report. We've got Sandy Shore. Units respond. Watch out, guys. What are you doing just running over bodies? What idiots. Looks like we lost a SWAT member. I don't know if that was our own people being jackasses or what. I'm some just an ambulance out here. Ambulance. Backup required in grape seed. Some interesting looking bikes, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go ahead and move these out the way. 
We have to search all this up here in just a second. Wondering what our officers were doing out here and what caused the attack. You want them a little spaced out so I can search them all. All right, we need y'all to hurry up and get out here and help our guys. All right, y'all get to work. Y'all start that way. I am going to go ahead and try to see if we can't save this SWAT member. Hoping we have some luck here. Man, that was crazy. Man, didn't make it. And I'm hearing, I don't think good results back over here. Like that other EMS team to get here, but they're a ways away. Seriously, guys. Stop it. Thank you. Hopefully time is on our side. Oh no, she's not going with you. You're about to become my favorite target. Nope. I don't care if she needs to go to the hospital. We're checking her first. You're obstructing the law. It's not looking good. Irregular breathing, alcohol Tell intoxication. You ever had a night stick up your ass? Hmm. <laughs> the go to line. Go ahead and search her real quick. I see y'all to show up. Nothing really. She did have a used needle. Sam Houghton. What happened here? Uh, Y'all work on her, I guess. Stay calm. I can save you. God. <laughs> All right. Well, I counted three cops dead. I guess she ultimately succumbed to her wounds. Slow me down. Yeah, well, that one you can. Everybody Backup done. Required in grape seed. Hmm. Just get out of here and just run over all the bodies. Goodness. I'm not going to worry about doing really any scene cleanup here. We're just going to let the coroner get on scene. I'm going to go ahead and move by heat my vehicle before they get. I mean, it's already stupid, but before it gets even worse, I know you're waiting on your partner. He's locked into a uh, thousand yard stair over here. Lighten up the way for you, corner. Just do it. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Alright, make sure y'all can see what you're doing. I'll let them start getting some of this cleaned up, and then uh, we'll just get out of here. I do see a vehicle that we need to get towed of one of our own. The rest, I'll just leave. There would be a whole team coming over here. I am going to search that van, though, because that is the lost. Yeah, we want to tow it. Yeah, we know it's a cop vehicle. Flatbed. Assistance required in uh, grape seed. Just search it, see what was going on. Was this like some drug deal that we stumbled across or what? Yeah, several pounds of meth and a handgun, so that's not good. Just because I've always wanted to see what happens. Oh, God. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Don't run over him again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, now get out of here. Run over the corpse. Just not over a live body. I want to try to get position where they can see a little bit more here. They're clearing them out. Alright, I'm going to say the coroner's got this covered. And there will be some investigation team that comes down here and does the rest. Mm -mm -mm. Well, again, I think I counted three officers. I'm not going to try to go where he's going. That's just going to be a nightmare. But I think we lost three officers. I mean, we showed up on scene and it was going down already. We were able to get them cleared out with a couple other officers in our SWAT team showing up. And I just went down a dead end here, didn't I? That's all right. We can find our way out. Ugh, I think we can. Watch out, bunnies. Where'd they go? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, we're back on for calls, and we're good. So we'll get back out there and see what we've got. So, okay, no, we won't. Yep, that's you, sir. Oops. Crap. Oops, my bad. <laughs> if I had an extra hand, that would be helpful. Just pull over. Come on. You are not taking off on me. Or are you? Somebody's drunk as a skunk. We're just going to block them in so they can't go anywhere else. And they would be behind a fence. Just get out of the car. Come on, get out of the car. Out of the car. What are you doing, you moron? Yep, here going in cuffs. <laughs> Civilians oh, are going nuts tonight. Is it a full moon? It's gotta be. We're getting you moved to the side, and you're instantly getting a breathalyzer test, sir. So you gotta be on something. Got to be. I need you to go ahead and take this test for me. And if it comes back clear, you're getting a drug swap test. Thank you, kind. Okay, so let's try that drug swab. Well, I appreciate it. All right, well, you came back clean. But I'm going to go ahead and patch you down. Because I do have you in cuffs here. need to make sure you're good. This is for your safety and my own. Handgun and illegal prescription pills. Hang tight for me. Tony Memphis. Let's go ahead and uh, get the plate number. And let's go ahead and search this vehicle. So, prescription pills. Illegal prescription pills and a handgun. A bag of shrooms. Wow, he's just going to have a heck of a night, wasn't he? Well, tablet time. Let's go ahead and get the vehicle record, the habanero. It's not registered to him, but it's also not stolen, so that's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, move over to the PED records, and this is Mr. Tony Memphis. He does have a concealed permit for the gun, so that's actually okay. But we're going to get him a citation of vehicle operation of... We're going to go for uh, crossing the center divider, because that's what he did for us, for sure. Hopped right into our lane. All right, that'll work. Well, you're going to make time here, Mr. Memphis, because you got more things coming, because now he gets the arrest report. Property, destruction of uh, private property, because he just ran over these people's fence. He's also got drug possession of mushrooms. So which one is that going to be? I'm not really sure. He had a legal prescription pill, too, so we'll do that. I guess we could do that under... Uh, I'm not sure what it'd be. I don't know enough about drugs, to be honest with you. So we'll just go possession of MDMA. I know that's, uh, like, something psychedelic, I think. I don't know. That's what he's getting. Submit those charges. We're going to get him uh, out of here. Hopefully by someone uh, here quickly. Backup required. And we're going to get his vehicle towed. Not even his car. Or was it his car? Ah, I forget. I don't really care. Getting towed no matter what. In, uh, 
proceed. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I thought it was somebody else's. All right, once our uh, backup is on scene to get him out of here, we'll be good to go. What you gonna call him? You suck. No name, actually. Okay, just uh, straight up, you suck. Fair enough. All right. Gonna move our car up a little bit, preferably with the door shut. There you go. Make sure she gets him in the vehicle. Oh, you can't do this to me. Mm. Out of you too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good. Don't. No. Don't. Oh God. <laughs> Attention. All right. So she's good. She's got him out of here. I think we're gonna do one more call, and then we're gonna call it an evening. I'll we'll go ahead and just kind of head back to where we started. Get out towards Sandy. See if anything. Uh, pops up in our way on the way there. Uh, yeah, we got a problem. You see that in front of her. Hey, I'm sorry to cut you off, but we, we got to cover this. Yeah, we see you, sir. Wow. This dude's hammered. Get on over. That's just gonna have to work. Go ahead and run the plate while we're here. He's run a Bison 20 Golf Hotel Zulu 102. Vehicle license plate 20 George Henry Zebra 102. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Okay, no insurance. Let's go ahead and get up here and see what this is all about. Let's see what we get real quick. Oh, yeah. We're getting uh, narcotics. Hello, sir. Trooper Street with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. I said it right this time. You're welcome, but you probably don't understand me because you look like you uh, you might be doing something. Can I get that uh, driver's license? Show me some ID. All right. Thank you, Mr. Billy. You can. Go and get your registration. Followed by your insurance. Aye. He is good on the uh, registration insurance. Don't have proof? Okay. Give me a moment. I'll be back with you. We'll get this sorted out. So we're going to go ahead and run it in the computer. If he doesn't have proof, that's fine. But if it's actually not insured, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and uh, get out the tablet. The vehicle record does belong to him. And we are seeing, sure enough, just like our uh, call came back, no insurance. So let's check out Mr. Billy. So expired vehicle tag and driving the wrong way. Okay. Okay. Everything else is clean, though, so let's go ahead and get out here and uh, let's get a test going. All right, Mr. Billy, if you could please step out of the vehicle for me. Is that horn on that thing? Oh, wow. Look at him. He is heavily impaired. All right, sir, I'm just going to kind of guide you over here to the side of the road. Just make sure you make it. Maybe. All right, there we go. I'm going to move you over here. This looks pretty good. I do want to go ahead and ask you, sir. Have you, uh, you been drinking? All right, how about any drugs? You've been doing that? Do I need to answer that? Well, I prefer you do. You have anything illegal on you? Nothing? Okay. Well, that's good. I do want to go ahead and check, sir. Can you go ahead and stare at the end of this pen? I'm going to move from side to side and follow with your eyes only. Do not move your head. Eyes only. I'm saying eyes only. Eyes only. Okay. Well, sir, uh, you didn't do too well on that. Let's just go ahead and have you, uh... Walk where I'm facing. Walk out about ten steps and then come back to me. Thank you, Keep a straight line, please, sir. Yeah, we knew this was going to happen, didn't we? Uh, we saw him driving a certain way. That's what piqued our uh, curiosity, and he certainly is uh, displaying uh, some sort of intoxication. 
We're just going to worry about doing the uh, drug swab since that's what's coming back for us. So, sir, I do need you to uh, take this test for me real quick. Got one last one and you're good. I appreciate it. Positive for cocaine and meth. Okay, sir, I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back. You, you are, are being arrested, arrested right now under suspicion of driving under in, in, intoxication. Screw, yeah, excuse me. I think I'm the one on drugs. Okay. Uh, I do want you to get a little bit further away from that road, so we're going to move you over here, sir. I am going to search your vehicle. Can't be driving. Not after doing drugs. Don't need to be doing drugs anyway, but you certainly don't want to get behind the wheel. Let's go ahead and search this vehicle. What are we going to find? Hopefully nothing. Don't want to go in crazy. A handgun. Several pounds of heroin. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's got interesting. Let's go ahead. He does not have a permit for gun, so he's going to get a charge for that. So, we're going to start with the arrest report. Uh, traffic. Driving under the influence. Drugs possession. Man, heroin. Freaking heroin. Other possession. Something about, uh, yeah, illegal possession of a firearm. There you go. Let me uh, go ahead and get that all submitted. Roger, three, eight. Wanted to make sure he wasn't a felon, and he's not, so. Okay, well, that's straightforward enough. Sir, you're going to jail. Probably for a while. Let's go and get our prisoner transport. In, ah, well, cool. Uh, yeah, right there. Seat. Slammed on the brakes to get back to us. That's cool. Request that tow service. I'm going to go ahead and stand back here with our offender. Thank you all for coming and getting him. Whoa, my God, tow truck. How he missed all these people, I don't know. But thank God he did. All right. They're getting him taken care of. You maggot. If that tow truck could figure things out, that'd be convenient. All right, they got him. Just want to make sure he is safely secured in the back seat of his vehicle. He's got him. All right, cool. All right, I need you to go and move. And uh, do you have to drive so close? I mean, you're scraping my tire here, man. Go on, get out of here. It's opened up for you. Go. You're going to make me do this, huh? I don't want to get in through this side. Come on, man. i climb over computers and control panels and all that stuff. Crazy. All right, well. Oh, God. See? Told you, you moron. Okay. So, again, we're going to head back for home. Get to uh, Sandy. If we do come across a call or uh, another driver... That's uh, not doing something cool. We will stop them on the way. And sure enough, it is a full moon. <laughs> Everybody's acting tonight. We've not saying I'm surprised. Okay. Alright, we need to find an overdose civilian. Where is this person? No, let's not. Okay, I see somebody flagging us down. Sorry I'm blinding you, man, but we gotta figure this out. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Did you call 911? Yeah, I did. I tried to wake that girl up, but there's no response. Okay, do you know her? Nope, I think she's not from this neighborhood. Okay, let's handle this. Let's uh, go ahead and get an EMS rolling, or at least a uh, ambulance. ambulance. Don't need That's to pull up my bank account. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can administer uh, Narcan. Got the ambulance on scene here just in case. It failed. Okay, we're going to let them come over here and see if they can do anything about it. Oh my god. Stay down, stay down. No shots. I'm trying to let you out of this, man. No more. God dang. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> we have to shoot him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right through the cheek, too. Yeah, way. 
Okay, I'll get back to him in a second. I don't really care. Looks like uh, they're able to get her revived, and she's going to go off to the hospital, so that's good. Y'all go ahead and get her out of here. My God, sorry about that, gentlemen. We didn't have a clue. I don't know if this was uh, his vehicle. We're going to search his body, and then we'll run the plate and see if it does come back as him. My God. He reported a woman on an overdose and then decided to try to kill us for saving her. I don't know. Maybe he... Pan gun, baggy of white powder. Hmm. Portable scale. So uh, I was wondering if, uh, yeah, maybe he was a dealer. And then saw, saw we were going to save her and ended up thinking, oh, we need to uh, make sure she doesn't rat us out. It's not looking good. My guess. Let's do a plate check, see if this comes back to a Justin Dock. If it's just a random vehicle parked here, I'm not worried about it. Target vehicle license plate. Nope, not zero, this, so it doesn't yeah, matter. George, They're on scene. Go ahead and see zero, if they can zero. save them. But we're going to be ready. Violation. Proceed with caution. If they do get him saved... Yeah, it failed. We should have gotten here faster. Well, you you were already here, man. Just go and get coroner out. Backup required in grape seed. I need a drink. Hello, gentlemen. I'm gonna go and get you some light so you can see. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. I could have told y'all that. <laughs> Looks like his cause of death was shot by a handgun. Yeah, yeah it was. I like that thud it makes whenever the trash bag with a body falls. Thank y'all for showing up and doing this. Man, we have a busy night for y'all. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, call that quits. We are going to go ahead and check out our uh, court cases here in just a second. All right. So that's all good. They abandoned this vehicle, I guess, when we started firing. So I'm not going to worry about doing a full tow. We're just going to get this done. We'll move this off to the side. They can come pick it up later. Oh, my God. People just pay no attention, do they? I guess I probably try to park it properly for them, can I? All right, well, that's gonna be close enough. That'll just have to do. Actually, what a bad job. All right, so let's go and get back to our totally exposed cop car that could have just been stolen. <laughs> and let's check out the court case here. So we're gonna start down with uh, Turn off our lights so I don't do that the entire time through the menu. Okay, so we're going to start out with Mr. Harry Fowl. This is the very first individual, so we see crossing the center divider and driving without insurance. So, uh, originally it was 1950 total in fines. It ends up as uh, 1585, so got knocked down a little bit. Mr. Lopez, let's see here. Speeding 100 plus, at fault in an accident, crossing a center divider, failure to stop, reckless driving. That was that fool we were trying to pull over. So, uh, not guilty on the reckless, but just given some, not even, man, at all that, he still ends up with lesser fines than Mr. Fowl, who literally just crossed the center divider and didn't have insurance. That's crazy. But this should be more serious. Driving under the influence, evading arrest, leaving the scene of accident, second degree murder. So let's see, he ends up total with uh, quite a bit in fines, and as you see, four year, 14 years and nine months in prison. Yeah, he probably deserved more, but... Take what you can get. Following too closely for Mr. Matthew Brown. Just a simple fine, as it should be. Mr. Tony Mippus crossed a uh, center divider. $105 fine, no big deal. And his uh, private property, uh, the destruction of, the MDMA. Again, it was mushrooms, but I don't know where else we could put that. And then the uh, possession of prescription pills. So uh, that's going to get him two years in prison. And it uh, looks like uh, $10,760 in fines. And then... Mr. Frank Billy was just that last DUI he had, but he also had several pounds of heroin and a possession of a firearm. So he's getting uh, seven months in prison for the DUI. He was found not guilty on the on the heroin. I said heroin. Trying to say possession of heroin and just heroin. 
and fined eight hundred and eighty seven dollars and six months in prison for the illegal possession of a firearm uh, i've been playing with storing all the evidence and then dropping off at the station it doesn't seem like it necessarily makes a difference i think it's a cool touch um but i don't know that it actually makes a difference in uh the court cases whether they're found guilty or not but that's a fun stream thanks everybody for showing up and uh, this will be going on youtube if you uh do like it there go ahead and uh, like subscribe and notify i appreciate the help and uh, y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening.